Klaus Nose is in with what in the heck? He's got one of everything. I think he's got like every single spell as well. No, not all of them, but he's got a lot. I don't even know what to call this. Oh, this man's just wilding. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next OP matchup. We got Klaus, we got Fluxy, we got Eric, we got Tricky, and this is the Creative Master Series presented and hosted by Carbon Finn, so shout out to him, OP Gamer. Go check out his channel, but let's see who's gonna win this matchup today. It is a 2v2, but account-wise, it's like a 4v4. So we're going to see four attacks from each side. Two attacks from each player. And Fluxy's in first with an early Yeti Bomb. Queen Walk. What in the Valkyrie CC is that on defense? <clears throat> okay. Oh. The Valkyries were kind of wrecking the Queen. We're going to go ahead and go with the Rage. Giga Inferno, Tesla's Expo doing double damage. That actually cost us a free spell. Alright, alright, alright. The Battle Blimp did take out a Spell Tower, the Eagle Artillery, and Expo, and it got the CC Pool, so it got some value. Next Rage on the Queen, Invis as well. She can actually reach the Monolith from that section, so that's why he's trying to keep her alive. Oh, but it's a lot of damage. We go with another Freeze. That Giga Poison still slowing her a little bit, and now it finally wears off. She can step up toward the Monolith. Do we need one more spell to get her through it, or can she handle it? a lot of damage she gets through it though nice she'll be able to get the sweepers and he broke open the walls for her to go all the way to that scatter shot on the right side of the base the yeti and the yeti mites take out the air defense and the cannon so the queen has nothing to worry about i like this a lot king on the left side of the base and we got the champion did he use warden with the blimp early he did what the heck okay we got one more yeti on standby we got some spells King took the queen. We wall break. King will take the inferno. Champion already going to ability early. She kind of got bamboozled. Not going to NGL on you. Wizard on the right. Wizard for cleanup on the bottom. Diggy and Champion do get through the scatter. Now they're going to get through the expo. We need them to get at least through the multi. We got some spells. No more wall breakers for the queen. She will be able to bust through a wall though. We got 40 seconds. Is this going to work? We're going to go with the freeze on the warden statue. Diggy stuns the multi. Queen pops ability, bro. Rage the champion. No, he rages the queen. That still might work. Oh, no. The champion goes down. Queen can finish off the base, though. Two minions in the core. Minions on the right. Phoenix going for the warden statue. The 1v1 of the sentry. And the phoenix wins it. He's got it. What an opening attack from Mr. Fluxy. Jeez. Was it that creative? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me, the early Warden Yeti Bomb and Queen, the Queen Charge was juicy. King set, setting up the pathing for the RC to clear through the middle of the base. Oh, does he time fail? Oh, he had like two seconds left over. That was close, but it's a three star for Team Fluxy and Klaus. Eric, the number seven, I mean the number one clan clash streamer in the world. Number seven is in with some uh, 20 sneaky goblins, two e drags, five yetis. Yo, what the heck is he bringing? Bat spells early. E dragons are in. What the? Okay. <clears throat> e drag chains helping to take out the air defenses. Oh, that e drag got wrecked. The upper e drags looking good. Were they supposed to go to the middle for the eagle? I feel like they were. He needs one more E-Drag. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's he gonna do next? <clears throat> Using a wall breaker. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Okay. Sneaky. Town hall dive. Down goes the town hall. Julio, hello jumping spell, golem, yetis, king, queen, warden on ground mode. Do we need to funnel these buildings out here? One yeti moves off to the side, hello log launcher. Oh, this queen's gonna dip out, isn't she? No, she's not, oh wow. Lava hound, queen gonna get stuck on that. We rage up the yetis, get through that first section. Double rage on defense, ew. We pop warden ability. Everybody invincible for now. Queen steps inside the rage. She'll be able to take out the pups a little bit faster because of that. 
Log launcher busting through all these walls. We're gonna go with another rage. What's in the log launcher? More yetis? What's in there? Was there anything in the log launcher? I just saw it get vaporized. Yikes. King goes down. RC on the top side, but we're sending him into the Tesla farm side. It's not good news. We freeze on the bottom side. Need Queen to take out as much as she can. He doesn't have a whole lot of stuff left. Eric. Definitely getting creative. But not bringing the witches is going to cost him big time. Champion doesn't even pick up the scatter shot. Queen goes to ability. She's going to pick up a couple more defenses, but he's struggling just to hit the 50% mark. Duh. Can you creatively get the two star, please? Sir? One sneaky goblin for the outside of the base for 50%. Let's go. That's a two star. Oh, that was scary. A couple minions on the outside. He'll be able to pick up, what, 51? Maybe 52? Nope. Oh, jeez. Oh, he does. 52%. Nice try, Eric. Mr. Loki is here to help commentate. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Klaus, is in. And what's he got for us? 12 wizards, 2 giants, 5 golems with 5 lightning spells. Oh, let's go. Let's go. He's going to zap away. An inferno tower. How did he get an expo? Did he have six lightning spells and I'm just crazy? I thought he only had five. Was it not a max expo? I might be crazy. Maybe he had two quakes. I don't know. Battle blimp is in with an E-drag that snipes the uh, monolith right away. Golem and queen to walk down. e drag still going to get more value here. Two super minions come out of the CC. We're going to poison them. Can this E-Drag pick up the Expo? I think that was the plan, but it might not. Oh, it doesn't. It's awkward. It doesn't matter. Warden on ground mode to help the Queen and the first Golem. The Super Minions go down. OP. One Yeti to funnel on the left. E-Titan to join forces with the Queen. <coughs> cool. He brought so many Golems. There's the second Golem with the King and the Frosty. Ice Golem to go support the Queen now. As that first Golem already getting wrecked. Queen gets through the enemy queen. More super minions out of the defensive clan castle, but no need to fear. The E-Titan is here to kill the super minions. Jumping spell for the queen to have access to everything. Golems and wizards on the outside of the base to push queen through the core. I love this. We still got a bunch of freezes. He already froze the single once, the first one. The warden's low. Ice golem on the bottom side. Okay, we're popping warden ability now. Sure. Headhunter with wizards to fight the king. We're going to freeze the town hall up. Queen's taking forever to get to that town hall. We can just pop king ability to snipe the town hall. Why did he pop queen ability there? I'm not sure. Was that a mistake? Maybe. We send another golem, a hog rider from the top side. We still got a champion to use. She's on the top side as well. Queen gets through the enemy champion. We get through the last inferno tower. We just got to get through this scatter shot. We got two freezes. We got champion. We got champion ability. Queen at full health, beating on a wall, doing what queens do best. This is looking great for Klaus with the golem avalanche with the zaps. With the early E-Drag Battle Blimp, bro. How does he come up with this stuff? It's just too easy for Klaus. One more giant on the outside with a couple of cleanup wizards. Champion still has ability. He still has two freezes. He can swag both of them. Klaus just absolutely deleting Tricky's base. Swags both freezes. Doesn't even need the champion ability. Queen gets through the wall finally, then gets through another wall. She can go get the storages. RC shield. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. Thank you, ma'am. That's a three star. All day long. And Fluxy and Klaus are up six stars to two. Tricky is in with ten healers. Ooh. Okay. What's he going to do? He's got a recall spell as well. Va uh, Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Royal Champion charge with a Rage. Going for the Eagle Artillery Compartment. She might have to fight the King, but she goes straight for the Eagle, bro. My Champion would have, like, gone for the Wizard Towers first, I swear. He put the Unicorn on the Champion as well. That's interesting. Recall. All right, get her out of there. Eagle Artillery secured. Now we're dropping the Queen with a Poison Lizard from the bottom side. King on the left with a Golem. Log Launcher, Warden, sure, 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 Wizard to help funnel. 
Was the queen supposed to go in for the scatter? I feel like she was. We do have wall breakers. We can wall break right there on the right. She's gonna need a ragey boy. There we go. Queen's still okay. Barely. Barely, barely. Log launcher taking damage. We send the champion with the healers from the left with the unicorn, of course. Queen getting through the scatter shot in the expo. He's multitasking like a boss. Pops the warden ability. Log launcher safe for now. It's about to pop open, though. <clears throat> Kind of wish the champion would have gotten that expo and made her way toward the multi in the core. Instead, she's going all the way up for the town hall. We're going to freeze the town hall, except we miss the town hall. Queen has headhunters going for her. The hound going up toward the king, though. It's a little awkward. We hit the tornado trap. We're spinning in circles. Can Queen take out the enemy king? She probably will. She can't reach either multi, though. This is awkward unless we send another wall breaker. We decide to rage up the queen. Send a headhunter to help her out. Wall breaker did something wonky. Queen's gonna get stuck in this compartment. He's got rocket balloons on the top side. Tesla farm on the right side. He's in big trouble. Tricky, definitely in trouble here. She'll be able to take out the pups, but uh, she's gonna go up for the sweeper, left for the builder hut. Healers are gonna get in range of a multi. He's only got one freeze left. Queen has to go to ability on pups. Not good news. Not good news at all. Oh, those healers are toast. It's gonna be low percent. It's gonna be low percent. It was uh it was a little creative. A valiant effort. But it's not gonna work. Not even close. Can he get 69 poggers? He's gonna get more than 69. The wizard over here. Wizard right here. It's like two buildings for free. Mr. Sir. Yep, there's the wizard. 69%, he'll get above 70. Very nice try to Tricky, but Klaus and Fluxy are up by quite a bit at the halfway point, six stars to four. Mr. Fluxinos is in with 30 headhunters. Ooh, he learned this one from me. I did this attack back in like the the last season of Creative, Ma Creative Master Series, or maybe even the season before that. I can't remember, it's been 10 years. But Queen is in on the right side of the base. <clears throat> Early battle blip. Cool. Oh. No spells. We just want the Inferno and the CC pool. Alright. Alright, he gets it. Finds a lot of Teslas as well. He dropped the poison spell early for the headhunters, I think. Queen will fight the hound now. Julio. We're gonna use the giant balloon. Try and make a little bit more of a funnel here on the right side. That should work. Queen dealing with pups. King to help funnel even more on the other side. Beautiful. Are we trying to get Queen to the town hall? We got no wall breakers. Depends on how King paths. <clears throat> He's going to go up toward the scatter. That's good news. That headhunter was way too early. No, it was actually perfectly timed. Wow, look at that. Mr. Fluxinos. Nice headhunter in the rage bell. Queen's still at full health. Oh, this champion hiding behind the wall. But the headhunter's there. Can the headhunter take her out? Headhunter? Headhunter? Nope, headhunter did. And we go with the invis spell to force the queen inside for the town hall. I almost missed it, but I saw that at cheeky invis. Nicely done there. Queen goes inside, takes the town hall, and what's next? We're just going to spam 29. 29 <clears throat> headhunters. This is going to get juicy. Oh, gosh. Warden ability popped. Rage spell in. They annihilate the champion. They one-shot the queen. We go with the healing spell. Now they're shooting everything else. Our royal champion in behind. They take out the monolith. They're going for inferno towers. They take him out. The warden's still alive. They're going for the other inferno tower. No way this actually works. The healing spell wears off. The inferno tower doing a lot of damage. Rip the grand warden. They're all going back toward the outside. We need the diggy to stun. Tornado trap spinning. Oh, no. That was so funny. He might have dropped the healing spell like one second too early. The warden ability was still intact and it wore off just a second too early. Rip the homie. Hold on, he still has a chance, bro. Does this actually work? Hold on. Hold on. Headhunter distracts the archer tower for just a second so Diggy can get in there. No, Diggy's dead. <gasps> we get through the archer tower though. We freeze the cannon. We freeze the cannon. Oh. One shot. Two shot. Three shot. Four. No! They kill each other. Queen on the outside of the base. 20 seconds. She gets the Archer Tower. She gets the Tesla. We got Wizards doing cleanup. Oh, he's going to time fail. 
<laughs> Bro, how did that actually almost work? Jeez, Queen Charge Mass Headhunters. We saw it at Town Hall 14 by several people, including myself. But at Town Hall 15? Queen Charge Mass Headhunters and Fluxy Time Fails. 96%. Jeez. Eric Nos is in with 14 Wizards, 5 Golems. All right, he's going for the Klaus attack. He's going for the Klaus Golem Smash attack. Let's see if he can get it done. Got two skellies, two bats, a rage, no poison. Are we about to see Eric do a skelly donut? Oh boy. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Skeleton, bat, bat. Oh, he's going for the triple donut. He's been taking lessons from Cynthia. Is he dropping these invises correctly? He's going a little bit closer to the clan castle. Oh. It's the multi. Gets the monolith, but does he get the castle? Yes! Skelly Donut. Successful. What next? Wall breaker on the top side. Give us early access to the town hall. He's got a lot of sneaky goblins, but take note of this, Clashers. He's going to try to sneaky goblin in the town hall, but he used all of his invis spells already. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know if that was part of his plan. He might have whiffed. He might have whiffed hard. I'm a little nervous for him. No, he's just gonna flame flinger the town hall, but the town hall's not away. I am confusion. Maybe he can just wake it up with a couple sneakies? Warden's in with the king and the queen. Popping the warden ability super early here. Another golem on the outside. Okay, okay, okay. Trying to negate the damage of this rage tower. Sure. Bro, he needs to wake up that t Actually, he doesn't have to wake it up because the, the, the wizard tower is touching. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. What are all the sneakies for then, bro? I don't know. He's just farming dark elixir or something. Where's the queen? She wrapped around this right side. We got the jumping spell to give her access to, like, everything. The king and the warden are just doing derpy things over here, beating on walls. That's not good news. I wish the warden went with the queen. That would have been much, much, much better. Much more gooder -er 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 -er. Queen having to fight the king without any backup. Well, she's got some wizards. Okay. Okay. Flinger will get the town hall. Too bad the warden's already dead. The eagle's still awake. What is it shooting? Eagle shooting golemites. All right. Bro, we got so many golems and golemites down here helping the queen. This is great. Rage tower on the back end with the scatter shot, the expo, the multi, and the tesla farm. It's scaring me a little bit. He's already sending the champion from the left with the skeleton spell to help distract. When one wizard sniping the queen while the golemites distract. Bro, that's clutch. That's clutch. We're going to go with the early freeze right here on the Expo and Scattershot combo Wombo. Queen going to have to beat through a wall. This is going to be a rough finish. Skelly Traps are there to distract. I wish he had more spell support. Ooh, the Scattershot's going to absolutely wreck him. I don't know if it pulls through. Down goes the champion. Down goes the queen. And it went from looking like a great attack to possibly a defense. Probably a defense. For sure a defense. Rip Eric Klaus's base stands tall. I like the plan a lot. I think if Warden stayed with the Queen and if King had also gone down instead of just beating on a wall, it probably would have been smashed. Because that King and Queen would have still been alive going into this backside. They could have tanked the scatter shot while the RC snuck in there. Oh my. But instead it falls short at 91%. Klaus Nose is in. With what in the heck? He's got one of everything! I think he's got like every single spell as well. No, not all of them, but he's got a lot! I don't even know what to call this! Look, one bowler, one hound, one ice golem, one headhunter, one titan, one minion, one hog rider, one valkyrie, one golem, one witch, one e-drag, one yeti, one miner, one baby drag, one pecker, one dragon, one healer, one wizard, one balloon, one wall breaker, two sneakies, one goblin, one giant, two archers, and one barbarian. Oh, this man's just wilding. Warden on the left side of the base. Bat Donut. We're not even going for the CC building. He wants Expos. He wants Monolith. Can he get all three? One more Invis. Gets the Monolith. Gets the other Expo. Can they get the... Can they get the... No, they don't get the multi. What the heck are we watching? Warden creating a little bit of a funnel. If that Expo locks on, he's in trouble. Battle Blunt for the Town Hall with Sneaky Gobs, I think. Think. Funnel set. Oh, uh, ooh, recall. Okay. 
Town hall secured. Okay. Hound, dragon rider, e track dragon. The heck are we witnessing? Ooh, I don't think he expected Teslas there. Also, that air defense, I think, was supposed to go down. This little dragon kill squad was supposed to snipe the eagle, I think. But that air defense is going to cause some big problems here. Partial CC pool as well. We redrop the warden on the right side. He's doing even more of a funnel, but the eagle walks on. <gasps> the eagle. The warden. He's on one HP. Uh-oh. One shot. Two shot. Bye-bye. Warden ability. Rip. We send the baby jack to try and finish off that eagle, man. Oh, the warden's dead. It locks on again. Oh, Klaus is in trouble. Bye bye, Warden. Rip the homie. That dragon kill squad for the eagle just wasn't able to get it done quick enough. Queen on the top side with the Una baby, of course. The golem out in front to help support her. I am. King. E Titan. Pecker. Sure, sure, sure. Golem's gonna distract that expo. That's good news. We got one normal wall breaker, no super wall breakers. We do have a jumping spell. Yeti on the right. Hello, ice golems out of the clan castle. Where are we going to use the jumpy boy? Jump spells for the king. Oh, this queen getting stalled up by ice golems, not cash money. We got an invis spell, but we're trying hard not to use it on the queen. Send an ice golem. We send a headhunter from the right. Poison tower goes off on the king. Not good news. Queen gets absolutely bamboozled. Unicorn dead as well. Rage tower goes off in the core. We got the champion. We're going to send her directly into the barbarian king. Obviously the best value possible. Invis spell is in. Champion will clear some of these defenses. Bowler's in. We got five seconds. Drop everything. Klaus knows. That was a fun attack. Does he finish with 14 with four stars? He really got four stars. It's a 69 percent. Let's go. Klaus with the Noah's Ark. Tricky is in five healers, six super Valkyries. OK, OK. Baby drag on the right. Sure, 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 sure. King on the left. Golem wizard. Warden with the king. Log launcher is in. Queen to push the king and golem inside. I like it. Oh, these healers are switching. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. He's already in big trouble. That's why you don't drop the healers till queen starts taking damage. Rip. One healer stays on the queen. Oh, they all go back. No way, bro. My healers would never. Poison tower goes off on the king. Queen walking up. We got a wall breaker to get her into that scatter shock compartment. Invis tower goes off early. Uh, but the king dipped back out toward the outside instead of going to the core like he was supposed to. That is awkward as well. We're going to rage up the golem. You really invising for golemites? What, what the? What the? Invis the queen on the top side. Oh, the plan is not going to plan. He definitely had a plan, but it is not going to plan. One Super Valk on the top side. Can even secure the Town Hall at this point. The Invis Tower is recharging. He's in big trouble. We got one more Super Wall Breaker. Can Queen reach the multi from this compartment? No, she cannot. Five Super Valks. Royal Champion. You like the two stars possible. He got two rages. How's he gonna send it? Champion for the multi, clear that up. Rage the queen. Ooh, she barely hanging on. Diggy stunning. Send the Valks. Here we go. Sure. Invis Tower goes off early thanks to the champion. That gives it enough time to go away before the Valks get there. Beautiful. Champion goes to ability. Boom, 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 boom. We invis the Valks. They take the town hall. Inside the rage spell, the healer's trying to keep them alive. Gonna go ahead with the freeze on the monolith. Alright. Alright. Should fizzle out now, though. 
Couple balloons on the right side. Valkyries are starting to die. Champion getting plenty of shots off before she goes down. We lost one Super Valk. We lost another two Super Valks right there. The baby rages are so adorable. But he's not going to be able to walk away with a three star today. Do we see another four star attack, bro? Get one more building. Yes. Yes. Y no. Rip the 68. Rip. And it's going to be a huge victory for Queen Walkers today. Team Klaus and Fluxy Nose. We don't even have to wait for the creative bonus stars vote. Because I think we all know Klaus and Fluxy are getting all the bonus stars as well. They're going to walk away with the victory today. 10 stars to 8. 73% to 56.6. What a match. GG's.